with your bitter I am nobody. My name is Eileen and when I was 27 I had a breakdown and I was sectioned, brought into hospital and I spent four months there. You know, being in the hospital was just so alien to me. Everything was just so different from the community I'd been taken from. It felt like being shut in a prison and I was so scared. I was so, so scared. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust, I'll rise. The first time I came across the poem, it kind of hit home. It was quite painful because it reminded me of what I'd been through. I've been labelled manic, depressive. I've been labelled mad, crazy, outcast. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness. But, but still, like air, I rise. But when I was given the label manic depression, I thought, you've given me a label manic depression. You haven't even taken time to get to know me. I am Eileen. That's who I am. Did you want to see me broken? Bowed head and lowered eyes. Shoulders falling down like teardrops. Weakened by my soulful cries. I think it's an important poem, and I think that this poem has become so popular because it relates to where so many different people have been. Out of the hurt of history's shame. I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain. I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the hope and the dream of the slave. I, I rise. rise. I rise. I rise. I think she's talking about black slavery, what we've been through over the years. For me, it comes a bit closer to home, having been in the mental health system as a black woman, you know, and being shackled, being sectioned, being put away, being suppressed, oppressed. But having come through the other side, I now see myself as being part of the dream and the hope of the slave, of those who may be in there, letting them know that there is hope so yes, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise. You can talk about your favourite poetry on the Mad for Arts website. Log on to www.madforarts.org.